Hey, it is Future Amber. Today is February 20th, if I'm not mistaken. February 20th, 2014. And let's see, what's been going on with me is I've been taking a, a, a more time off for myself, which I kind of um, discussed in earlier Future Ambers about hoping that I would, you know, take more time off for me, more than... Um, like no days off so I've kind of been giving myself uh, a day off a week but this week I didn't funny enough soon I will get to two days off a week but not yet <laughs> so yeah I may be getting a dog I'm super super excited hopefully it all works out by Friday and by next future Amber there should be a dog in this situation and I'm so excited I mean my boyfriend are like uh, getting a dog and I'm super super happy because I've wanted a dog for like so long. I've had family dogs, but like my own dog, it's just never happened because I've always like like been running, like jumping around place to place. So I'm really excited about having a dog. Let's see, I worked out today. I'm really tired right now. It's like 8.30 and um, I don't know, I've been trying to work out more. Um, I'm up to three days this week so far. I have to work out tomorrow, four days in a week. Um, I used to just work out two, maybe two times a week because I was working so much, but now I'm kind of thinking like, you know, maybe I should do more a week and focus on, you know, I don't know, my weight and strength and stuff. Like, for me, it's more like strength and toning more than anything, just not just losing weight. So, I don't know. Everyone has their own goals and stuff. Let's see. Talk, let's talk about past Amber and what she was talking about. So I talked about my days off, like how I was giving myself more days off. And last year, uh, she said, or I said, that I didn't have a day off from like February 3rd to February 20th. And that's like two and a half weeks without a day off. And I'm pretty much used to that type of schedule. And even today, I still do that to myself. Um, I mean, I've gone like six, eight, you know, ten weeks straight with no day off. And it really just kills me in the end. But... And then I have to go take a whole week off. <laughs> so I'm learning more now to pace myself as far as work because I feel like I could just keep going. And I don't know when that transition happened in my life where I thought I could just work every day. Um, I think working on the cruise ship, maybe, maybe that's where it started because on the cruise ship you work every day. Whether it's 4 hours or 13 hours, you're going to work every day. So when I don't have to work you know, 16 hours, and yeah, you know, working on film sets as well, like, those are really, really long days, so I guess I'm really used to a long work week, so I'm trying to get myself away from that, but maybe I shouldn't, because, uh, I don't know, but if you don't have enough time off, you, you like, don't you, like, age and die faster or something? I don't know. I was super excited to get health insurance. I've had health insurance for a full year now. Uh, that is something that's a big deal for past Amber, because... I never had my own health insurance and I was kind of just uninsured and not, you know, if anything happened and I would just been screwed over. So I talk about my ex. I talk about my ex and how he didn't like Houston and how he wanted to move back to New Jersey. And this is funny because I remember how I felt when he told me that and I was like, oh no. Because I wanted him to stay as far away as possible so I can get over him completely. And everyone was really worried about him moving back to New Jersey and stuff and I just... I knew what I had to do, and I wanted him to stay away, so I was hoping that he wouldn't make his way to Jersey, but he did. I talk about being comfortable with who I know at that time, and what I'm talking about in past Amber is I stopped dating at that moment. I kind of stopped dating after um, once, I think that was Sandy, yeah, was in October 2012. So after the whole Sandy thing, and after I went to visit my parents and stuff for Christmas that year, I stopped dating for like a whole season. I took a long, long break. I didn't actively go online and try and find dates. I didn't, um, I was like really, really not dating um, during the winter. Yeah, I just totally was fine with not dating anybody at the time. Like in the beginning of Past Amber, I kind of needed those dates because I needed to get over my ex. So entertainment purposes only was what it was and I just needed a distraction and that's what they were. I don't know, it's it's all really weird but I did not want to date anybody. Yeah, that whole painting thing, like I never, I never bought any more canvases. I need to do that. I always keep talking about that. I talk about Asho in uh, Past Amber and I was really, really into his talks. Like if you go on YouTube and you just 
put in uh, um, Asho and you and listen to his just his views on everything. I don't know. You just feel a little enlightened. Like, oh, I never looked at things like this. Oh, yeah, this makes sense. And at that time, I was like reading and listening a lot of um, um, to his reading and listening to a lot of his stuff. So that really influenced me like a lot. So I think to answer past Amber's question it about do I have a better understanding of myself? Um, I think I do. I think I have done a lot in the past year and even, I think I've done so much since I moved to New York City and it's going on like two, three, two and a half years, two, two years. I know it's at least been two years, two and a half years. So I've done so much since I moved into this area and I have grown, met so many different people. Um, had a lot of strange shit happen to me, a lot of dr dramatic things. <laughs> um, I mean, be it like the whole car crash, my first surgery, and you know, falling in love again, and getting over someone, knowing that when someone's bad for you, and you know, I feel a little bit more grown up, I feel more responsible now, I know people depend on me, and um, I don't know, I, I feel like I, I know who I am a bit better than I did before. I know what I'm capable of. Um, and I went through a major depression, and I think that that whole depression stage helped me figure out what I wanted and who I was and stuff, and what I wanted in my life, which is sometimes you need the bad shit to, you know, bring out the good. <laughs> I talk about learning a language, and this is ridiculous because I was just talking to a coworker about learning a language, and he's like, learn Spanish, learn Spanish, and I was just like, oh god. And it's funny because I had no idea that in past Amber I talked about learning a foreign language and how frustrated I am that I don't know Spanish or a foreign language. And I, and I just told myself the other day, I'm like, you know, you really have to do something about this. You have to do something about this. Things like months and months or years will go by and a person will tell themselves, you have to do this, you must learn this. Do this for your own well-being and you don't do it. You just keep telling yourself you're going to do it and you just don't do it. I don't know, I have other things to do, I guess. I don't know, I just feel stupid speaking other languages. I just feel dumb trying to learn, so. I just, I mean, writing and reading is great, but speaking it is just like, ugh. It's such a pain in the ass. I ended past Amber saying that the vlog for past Amber was like therapy for me. And at the time, it really was. And it was like a therapy session. But who the hell wants to, like, go to a therapist and then listen to their tapes a year later. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? And I talked about that, I think last week, where I'm looking at myself like, why am I just, why am I talking about these things? Do these things really, really matter? So, therapy, it was then, it was then. Now I look at it and like, I have to address these things. I have to make the comparison. I have to do a, like a growth report on, you know, who I am today and my improvements or declines or you know, progress or whatever you want to call it. and But that's the whole point of the project is the comparison of it, right? Like, where I was last year. Some things haven't changed. Some things have changed. But am I a better version of myself? I think I am. I really think I am a better version of myself. I like to think so. But I, I feel like I have people that I can attribute to why I am a better person. It's just not me. It's not just me, like, reading and watching Asho fucking talks. <laughs> like, there are so many people that have just really changed my life. And uh, I have to say that, like, the jobs that I have and, you know, my boyfriend and the family that I have just really helped me through a lot of that shit. It helped me, you know, realize who I am. And, like, man, if everything was cupcakes and candy canes, fucking, I don't think anyone would really learn anything. I don't know. You have to have the bad stuff to, like, I don't know, show your reality for a second. And then you're like, oh, wait, you're back on track, you know? Ugh, I'm rambling now, so I think that's it for future Amber. I want to get this up before, like, 11.30, so I have to, you know, get this all in. Now, hopefully. Hey, rendering is so long. Ugh. Oh, I'm really tired, too. So that is it for this week for future Amber, and I shall see you guys next week.